Hey, it's Davis, and welcome to this video. Look, um, yes, I do have a sensor on my forehead. If you're wondering why, go ahead and make sure that you like and subscribe this video as we're gonna talk about it here in the future, okay? All I'll tell you right now is chase your dreams and don't ever say no. Now, real quick, let's get onto the content, okay? So if you wanna be able to learn how to like, you know, eat healthy and like, you know, really just kind of transform the way that you eat and even like, you know, maybe even your family eats because a lot of the times I hear people telling me like, Davis, you know, I like, I wanna eat, be able to eat healthy, but my biggest deal is that, man, it's just so expensive. Well, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I did put my one of my son's baseball hats on because yeah, I was feeling a little bit of a, yeah, I was feeling a little self-conscious or whatever, right? Um, go, go Yankees, even though I don't really watch baseball, right? My wife's from Brooklyn, right? So go New York, right? Well, anyways, here's the deal, okay? Two quick things, okay? And even before I say that, first and foremost, right now, let me tell you whether you're looking to control your blood sugar for yourself, the people that you love, or even the people that love you, know right now that my heart is absolutely with you and that you have every single thing that it takes within you to crush type two diabetes on your own terms and don't let anyone ever take that from you. In fact, um, if you like, I made for you a 21 day, it's a free, blood sugar transformation challenge where I literally share with you everything from like how I'm able to shortcut all these different diets, how I control my blood sugar, eating foods that I already love, right? How like how I was even like able to lose my first 75 pounds without any drugs, exercise or any hardcore dieting whatsoever and I want to give it to you for free. No judgment, no anything, whatever. Really just kind of give you that value and you can get it right now at lifeovertype2.com backslash 21 days. Again, that's lifeovertype2.com backslash 21 days. Now, let's get on to the content, okay? So it's really, really simple, okay? Two quick, really, really more than anything, two quick and easy tips, okay? Uh, tip number one, put it in the basket and buy it, and I'll show you what I mean by that, okay? I'll show you how I'm able to get all these crazy deals or whatever, okay? And then tip number two is going to be use the 15 minutes freedom method, okay? So let's get right into it, okay? So here's how to do the uh, the put it in your basket you know, hold and buy it thing, right? So here's how to do it, okay? Basically, at the end of the day, um, you know, we get all of these different circulars, okay? So here's how to put this thing to work, okay? If you're anything like me, you know, when it comes to like Father's Day or whatever, you know, we get all dressed up, we're going to like church or whatever, right? And then we pay for these crazy lunches, right? Anywhere from like 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, maybe even 100 bucks plus for like Father's Day or Mother's Day, right? And then we get all dressed up, just like we're going to church, we go to like a really nice steak restaurant, a really nice, you know, like a restaurant where we're having like, you know, like roast chicken or like, you know, like seared fish or whatever, like on the water or whatever, okay? Anyways, around that time, like uh, Thanksgiving, or I'm um, sorry, Father's Day, um, my wife had given me like this, this huge stack of like junk mail. I was like, hey, you know, I had everything from like the electronics ads, the sporting goods ads, and she's like, hey, see if you, there's anything else that you want, and I'll buy you, all, you know, whatever you want. So I'm flipping through this stuff, and I end up getting all these different, you know, ads from like the supermarkets just to find like all the stuff that we just got dressed up and all fancy for was in the same as, right? Like ribeye steaks and like, you know, the, these like lobster tails and all this other stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute, let me just, and I'm, I'm nobody special. I just figured I'd buy it and like make it for the kids or whatever, right? Next thing you know, they're asking me like make this food for them like over and over and over, okay? And it did not click with me until this happened. In fact, like instead of like just explaining it to you, let me just show you, okay? Here, check this out. <laughs> Yeah, let me get um, three um, of those steaks. Can I get the top three right there? Okay. Yeah, there you go. And enough? Uh, no, man, that'll be it, please. Bingo. Now is it Instagram worthy? No. But in the same breath, like can you cook a hamburger better than McDonald's? Probably, right? And the best part about it is check this out, okay? Look, my steak crushes that steak. <laughs> that other steak that I found online, like I just got it off of like one of these royalty free video things, right? Now here, check this out. This is the best part, okay? Let's do the math, okay? So here it is. I bought the steak, three of them for three or $13.69. The broccoli was $1.99. The garlic was 49 cents. 
The organic chicken broth was $1.99, okay? So that's a total of $18.16 for three people, okay? Grand total is just over $6.05 per person, okay? The time. I only preheated and seasoned the meat for four minutes, okay? So I literally just went to the stove, cranked it on high, put a pan on it, and while it was sitting there for a couple of minutes, I literally just dumped some marinade in the plastic bag that the steaks came in, okay? After that, I simply laid the steak on one side and hung out for three minutes, okay? After that three minutes is done, I flipped it, hung out for another three minutes, okay? After that was done, I simply just dumped in some broth, threw the garlic in there, waited two minutes, and then after that was done, added the broccoli, covered it for three minutes minutes grand total time 15 minutes okay dude and everybody can eat like this faster easier far more effective than you know going out and eating takeout food you know what i'm saying and way way more healthier now check this out okay so whenever i share that with people they're like yes of course do you like that's cool and all but let's be real here right like those you know budget supermarkets and stuff like that those places are a total dime a dozen right like what what city in america doesn't have a store like that right so like hey at the end of the day i would say yes you're right and you know some people are like dude like what if i just want to spend you know i don't want to go to like you know maybe like whole foods or maybe like you know bristol farms or like you know do like a butcher box thing in the mail or something like that but i'm definitely okay with spending maybe just a couple bucks more um you know what do you got there because obviously maybe i just don't want to go to like you know the super super budget place and yeah nothing wrong with that more than anything i just want to be able to make sure that nobody's left out but in the same breath hey if you're just like i got a couple bucks more check this out the best part about these ads is that these stores have entire marketing departments completely devoted to literally going out and selling us their best deals. All I'm doing is simply taking advantage of them. Yeah, man, let me get, to, let me get the bottom three uh, steaks here, please, if you don't mind. Now, if you're a parent with kids who don't like their vegetables, this is probably one of the best ways to sneak it in, K. Okay? And these carrots I only get for $2.49. Now, everything all together, bingo, okay? Check that out. Literally, same exact thing, same exact everything, and this is how my kids eat all the time, okay? Like, this is my daughter's plate, obviously, has the carrots in there. I don't really eat the carrots, right? It'll spike my blood sugar. I usually have a bunch of these power greens, okay? But gorgeous ribeye steak, butter sauteed garlic with a side of power greens, and for the kids, obviously, those carrots. Now, let's do the math here, okay? The steak, three of them for $22.37, okay? Organic rainbow carrots, $2.49. The butter and the garlic, I kind of already had that, right? Also with the power greens, right? Like, you know, it's the bag of salad that we have sitting in the fridge, right? So a total, okay, a grand total of $24.86 for three people, okay? Now let's round that up, okay? It's like 27 bucks, right? That's only nine bucks a person, okay? That's only like a $3 difference from, you know, the other steak dinner, right? Huge difference in what you can do for your family and even spoil yourself with some good old fashioned food, right? Um, we do eat like this all the time in the same breath, Hey, look, like, you know, you'll notice that I'm only doing by three. My wife's not included because she doesn't eat the uh, the steak, okay? And so she eats a lot of chicken, okay? And if she likes chicken, check this out, okay? All I did for one of these is I literally just went to Costco, took one of those bubble chickens that you get for like, you know, $4.99, right? I literally took one of those, tore the breast off, right? And then I just literally preheated a pan, four minutes, threw it in there, threw these uh, Brussels sprouts that I also get from Costco in there, right? Literally just let it sit in there with some chicken broth, let it reduce in the chicken broth for like three minutes. I took the breast out, let it cook for another, another, another two minutes, okay? Next thing you know, I just take that chicken stock reduction and I pour it over the top as a glaze. This stuff is phenomenal. It takes like five minutes to cook, right? Nine minutes total. Or what if you like fish, right? This is some salmon. I got this entire thing. This was um, at a health food store, Sprouts, if you have one next to you, right? I think it was on sale for like $4.99 a pound. I got like seven bucks worth, right? That turned into something like this, right? This plate, this entire plate was maybe like $2.50, right? Maybe like three bucks, okay? The organic kale there was only $1.29 on sale, right? And like, dude, all of our family eats this way. So much so, even our dog eats this way, right? Like this is our family baby. Her name is Chloe. And yeah, you know, obviously she eats dog food like any other dog. However, in the same breath, whenever the steaks are on sale, I'll typically get her something like this, okay? This is like Chuck, okay? Normally it's on sale for like $2.99, $3.99 a pound. And on this day, I literally just got, I think it was like $2.99 a pound. This is like a half pound piece, right? So this is only like $1.50, okay? To put things in perspective, whenever we go to the pet store, right? They have cans of like this stuff, right? Which is awesome, okay? But in the same breath, like, man, it's probably chalked 
full of like only God knows how many chemicals you have to put in the beef to get it to sit on a you know on a shelf for like I don't know two three four years or whatever it is right and check it out the cost two seventy nine okay our dog she doesn't eat those big Texas steak tip dinners or whatever she eats this okay and it's like a dollar fifty okay all day long now the best part about that is is like hey look at the uh, you know like that chicken and stuff like that dude like that chicken that bubble chicken 4.99 i get like four servings out of that right and then the brussels sprouts or whatever dude it's like four bucks by the time i get four servings out of that like each serving a quarter you know a dollar here and a dollar here is like two bucks and something cents for that beautiful you know that that bowl of chicken and brussels sprouts right like who can't do that like maybe three or four bucks for the salmon and then obviously you know six bucks for the steak Dude, all day long, right? All, all day long. Now, at the same time, to be totally honest, like when I was making this for you, I didn't. I was gonna go to a certain, you know, uh, I don't want to say, I almost said their name, fast food place, okay? And I literally just, I, I go. So I was running errands for my wife, and I was like, hey, there's one inside of this Walmart or whatever, right? So I go inside of there, and I jump up, and the ca cashier, she turned around, and there was nobody in line, and I think she went to like, you know, the fry, French fry machine. So I just jump up in there, I grab my phone, I'm going like this, right? I'm like, yes. This is awesome. So you, that way you can see all the pricing or whatever, right? So I'm going like this and all of a sudden I put it down and then she's standing right in front of me and I'm like, uh, this is weird. And then she's looking at me like, uh, this is weird. And I'm like, so yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get in trouble or anything like that. So, and I didn't want to buy the food. Yeah. I didn't want to buy the food. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you right now, if there's a burger establishment, that had some movies behind it and they have some hamburgers that are like one fourth of a pound and then you can have a couple of those patties with some fries and then maybe you can even like maybe make those fries larger than normal. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, go ahead and look at how much they're charging for that versus all these other options. But at the same breath, hey, I'm still game. So here, let me show you something else. This is lunch, okay? Some good old fashioned Chipotle. Now, I love Chipotle, and I can eat this stuff all day, every day, okay? And basically, here's what I got. I got the salad, all right, with some steak and some guacamole, okay? Nice flat top haircut there. <laughs> but yeah, basically, that's that. And here, let me show you what it ran, okay? So, it's like eight bucks, right? And then by the time, whoops, um, it's like eight bucks, and then by the time you get the guacamole, it's like two bucks. So all in, I'm like, you know, 10 bucks. And then, you know, with obviously with like the change or whatever, or the tax or whatever, it's like 11 bucks. And let's be real here, dude. Chipotle, I can eat Chipotle all day long. Okay, obviously I just I just got this to eat it right now. However, at the same time, like look, at the bottom, buried under all this salad stuff is basically just like a scoop of like Chuck, right? So I can either have like a scoop of Chuck or I can have an entire ribeye steak. Okay, huge, huge difference. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this stuff. Obviously, still eat it all the time. Okay, but in the same breath, bada bing, bada boom, huge difference. Now, at the same time, if you also saw my 11.3 pounds in three days video, here's something else that I don't really ever show anybody. So, we have two really big curls. No sauce lettuce dropped on this? Yes, sir. Not a problem. All right. And did you want to add any drink or dessert with your order today? Uh, no, thank you. No? Well, that can please order then, sir. Yeah. 1506 will be your total at the window. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. I hope that served you well. So hey, if you did like it, you know, like, subscribe. If you stuck with me this long or whatever, like, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. And you know what? Let me tell you something, okay? I'll tell you right now how much this means to me right now, okay? Like, if you've even stuck with me this far, let me give you some gold, okay? Because if you're if you're a parent, if you're gonna be a parent, if you have a family member, a friend, or something like that that, you know, maybe they were the big person. Cause I'll tell you right now, like for me, I was the token fat kid since I was a kid. Okay. And really like that chased me all up until the day that I was diagnosed. And even all the way up until the day that I was told that I was 12 months away from dialysis as a type two diabetic. Okay. And here's what happened. Okay. I'll show you right now why this is so important to me. Like this, what I just shared with you. Okay. So, um, you know how like, you know, people have kids, like, you know, how if you're a parent, like maybe you have kids and you know how our kids can like follow in our footsteps without us saying anything. Right. Well, one day I get a call from my, uh, from my, from my wife and she's like, yeah, call your, call your mother-in-law. And I'm like, what? Like, what happened? And she's like, yeah, it's your son. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, what happened? And she's like, yeah, um, you just need to give them a call. So I give him a call. Long story short, I get my son on the phone and all of a sudden he's like, you know, I'm not eating or he's not eating. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Like, dude, if you saw my boy at the time, especially at the time, like that's the last thing you'd ever expect. Okay. And he's like, I'm like, dude, what, what's going on kid? And he's like, um, yeah, dad, um, it's not healthy. 
right? He goes, I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, dude, look at you. Like, you know, look at what you did. Like you turned all this stuff around. Like, I want to do that. Like, and I'm like, wait, wait, what? Right. And here's why that's so important. Okay. Like there's so many times where our kids can actually follow in our footsteps. Okay. And on his own, like I was that kid where my parents meant well, and they probably had me do different diets. And sometimes it took a dark corner, like, you know, maybe like pushed a little too hard. Okay. To be totally honest, I ended up doing that too, not knowing that I was doing it. Okay. And I actually did it with my boy doing keto. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't think in the end he wanted to do well, but I think I was maybe becoming the overzealous person, uh, parent all of them to the point where um, he literally just stops. He tells me that he wants to do better. And you know what? Um, I can't really take any credit. He deserves all the credit. And so look, if you're a parent, um, if you have family, or even if you know somebody where their children might actually be following in the footsteps of their parent, right? Um, here, you might want to share this with them. And uh, yeah, if any of this, if any of this, you know, had served you well, make sure that you like, subscribe. I'll definitely see you in the next one. But um, yeah, huge shouts out to my boy and uh, I'll just let him take it away. Here we go. So yeah, dude, if you don't mind me asking, like uh, how are things coming along with you and um, like what's making you want to change and like what kind of steps are you taking? What? Okay. I kind of just watched you. It was the whole kind of kid mirrors parent thing. Wow. Really? Yeah, so basically, to simplify, it's the equivalent of the dad reading the newspaper and like the kid pretending to read like a child's like comic book thing. Okay. Well, what? I mean, I'm really stoked to see like the progress that you're making. Like, what kind of, uh, what were some of the first steps that you had taken, like on your own, like when you were just like, hey, I'm gonna kind of do this. Like, what were the first steps that you took? Instead of like, uh, like having like a bagel or something, I like having a super big lunch. I'll just kind of have like a something small, like a protein bar. Right on. And then what? would you say would be some of your um, biggest challenges, right? Some of the things that you struggle with the most and like how are you able to like work with them or you know, maybe give a little bit um, and then at the same time, um, you know, how are you able to like maybe conquer some of those struggles? Can I just find replacements? All right, give me an example. So instead of having like a like a Kit Kat or a Snickers or something, have like a, what I personally like is the chocolate caramel protein bar that we have at home. Right on. And well, one of the things you know, for, I think that for, or instead of chips, remember when we? So technically, you're supposed to have it with like a salad or something, but they're like a, like these wisps. It's basically like a, like an organic cheese. It. They're pretty damn addicting. Yeah, they're really really good. They're super super good. And so what, what kind of, um, I mean, now it's almost like natural with you, right? Like I kind of see you doing it all the time. And then obviously the cool thing is, is you're not really like going super hard to where you're beating yourself up or anything negative like that. Right. Mm -mm. That's cool. Like, that's cool. That's way, way cool. And then what's, um, what would you say like inspires you? Like what keeps you motivated? Cause obviously if you have the choice to eat, you know, total and order utter horse crap. It's order, a lot. Order, order. <laughs> it's a lot easier to eat like a burger with a shake than it is to have like a salad. So what? What makes it? What? What's that little? Uh, that little switch in your head that flips that makes you take the right step versus the goofy step? Just like what you do, I, and as I said before, I substitute. And sometimes you don't even need to substitute. Like. Uh, Take like a burger and fries and like a shake or something. Mm -hmm. So forget the shake, get like a like a water iced tea or something. Then either get the burger lettuce wrapped, but if you don't like lettuce, then just order that, take off the bun and just eat it animal style. Right on, right on, man. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. It's crazy. Uh... You know, as crazy simple as that sounds, I really hope it helps somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks, kid. Love you. I'm dead.